Brandy McDonald, entertainment writer for the Oklahoman and NewsOK.com, and I'm here in our studio today with Ryan Merriman, Choctaw-born and bred actor, who was kind enough to uh, stop in our studio and talk to us a little bit about some upcoming projects. You had a guest role on Hawaii Five-O. Yeah. You've had a recurring role on Pretty Little Liars. So. It's been a, it's been a good year. I I just had a a movie actually premiered Dose of Reality that I made with Feruza Bulk uh, last year, and then yeah, Pretty Little Liars still airing and, and Hawaii Five-O and now 42, that's why. 42, yeah, it's got the Dodgers, the Dodgers hat on now. Because you have actually been cast now in the upcoming Jackie Robinson biopic, 42. Yes. Uh, starring Harrison Ford and Christopher Maloney and some folks like that. And talk to me a little bit about um, the part that you're gonna play. You're gonna play Dixie Walker, who's actually pretty well known. Dixie Walker was uh, the right fielder um, in, the, in the 40s. I think 40s, you know, like 45 to 49. Um, he was kind of the main uh, bigot almost when it, when it came to you know um, um, African Americans you know being introduced into baseball, and um, he his his reason came more from you know just the upbringing in those times and and he owned a, a hardware store and he knew that that would affect his business so it it, it was kind of more of those uh, those lines, mm -hmm. um, but you know Jackie did amazing things with with how people treated him and what he had to go through. And this is kind of a retelling of the story. They actually made a movie um, before. In, it was a black and white back in the day, but Jackie actually played himself. Right. And uh, yeah, Harrison Ford plays Branch Rickey, who's the owner of the of the Dodgers. And then Michael plays, I think, I think the coach. Right. Um, so it's it's really cool. And and Brian Hedgeland is the director. You know, he's an amazing writer. Uh, Knight's Tale, Mystic River. Um, he, Robin Hood, you know, he's an amazing writer, director. Uh, and then of course, legendary picks. Mm -hmm. You know, they just did Batman and The Hangover and, and uh, uh, big, movies. big movies. Yeah, they're big boys, yeah. so. Now, this must be pretty exciting because this is like the 65th anniversary. I know Major League Baseball's planning some celebrations this year because yeah. it's the 65th anniversary of Jackie Robinson breaking the color barrier. And I think you guys said you started in, you're gonna start in May filming. So is that kind of a special air about it? Well, it's cool it, and you know, also in April, uh, 15th, I think the Dodgers have their annual Jackie Robinson game where they all wear the number. And um, I think probably next year, I doubt it'll happen this year, we'll, we'll all be there. I think you played baseball at Chalkdaw High School, if I remember right. I did. Correct? I so. did, yeah. All the way T ball and all the way up to high school, yeah. yeah. And so I actually understand that baseball and golf are the two sports that you really sort of prefer and they're actually the only two that you really haven't played on screen so i guess is it nice to get to bring some <laughs> of those baseball true. yeah i never thought about that screen. golf golf would be nice oh god i would love to golf on, in a movie but yes basketball i never really was good at never played and Didn't i've done play, that like yeah. four times uh i got to do the football movie and now uh now yeah, baseball you did the fifth so. quarter and so you got to play football on tennis screen, and you know cricket i guess are next <laughs> Well, that'll be fun. It's yeah. so fun learn something new. Yeah. But I think this was a pretty challenging, I mean, the process of getting this role re sort of required a lot, and the, the baseball skills, I think, were important for you to bring to Yeah, the role. there was a, uh, I went through four different auditions for four different characters, wow. and then I came back in f the fifth time for Dixie, and then on top of that, they had baseball tryouts, and uh, there was, you know, 20 guys, and, and four of them, five of them made the cut, so. My my mitt is from the 40s, and it's like a, it's like, it's like almost flat. It has no pocket. You, I mean, oh, I don't know how these guys caught with, oh with the balls they did. Amazing. And then, skills. you know, wood bats. No gloves, wood bats, pine tar. So it's getting pretty cool. I'm, I'm excited. It's always fun when you're playing a character to really, you know, get in there, put on the clothes, the, you know, the fedoras and the the wingtip shoes and the silk and the shirts thing. and yeah, I had to rep Dodgers. Got it, got it going on. So what else do you have coming up besides um, this one? Because I know you are you always have tons of projects kind of cooking. Yeah, I mean, I I, uh, I got another movie I did called Attack of the 50 Foot Cheerleader. I'm not real sure when that's coming out, but that's kind of a play off of you know, the original. Um, and then uh, I start shooting this in May and, and that's about it. I mean, fifth quarter's out. Pretty Little Liars, I'm still dipping in and out on. And uh, who knows what the future holds, hopefully. Your character kind of shows up and causes chaos and then departs. Yeah, I know. So they need more of it, I little, think. A little bit of mystery there. So. <laughs>
Anyway, well, thanks so much for coming in today. We appreciate you taking the time to come and visit us. And you guys can look for more of my interview with Ryan and more information on his career and what he has coming up um, in the Oklahoma and the news. Okay.